We are on top of a suspicious death which may involve a large alligator in Polk County. This is where a Mosaic employee found that body just before 8 o'clock this morning. And according to the call he made to 911, there was an alligator nearby when he found the body. Our Phil Buck is in Polk County for us tonight. And Phil, what details do we know at this point? I mean, there's a lot we don't know still. In fact, I, I think it's fair to say we know more about this alligator than we do about the man whose body was found earlier today. What I can tell you for sure is when they are, they're both dead and both of their bodies are in this building right here as we are still waiting for both the autopsy and necropsy reports from the medical examiner. The man's body was found early Thursday morning floating in a drainage ditch on Mosaic property. Not far away was a massive alligator, almost 12 feet long and 450 pounds. Investigators with the Polk County Sheriff's Office are calling it a suspicious death. It's certainly suspicious. Um, we are treating it as a suspicious death. Um, and there was a vehicle found on the property as well. So we're trying to determine who the rightful owner of that vehicle is. Is it the same person we found and what exactly happened? Detectives are still trying to identify the person who was found dead and find out why he was on Mosaic property. The company says he was not an employee. They don't know who he is. We don't know why he was there. Um, it is possible he died a natural death and ended up in that water, but we just want to find out what happened. Investigators also don't know how the person died, although they do say it appears that the gator, quote, interacted with the body at some point. We're just waiting on the autopsy. Um, we're scouring the scene for any pieces of evidence. We're taking crime scene photos. Um, well, obviously, we're trying to get in touch with the person that owns the vehicle that was found out there. Um, once we can get this guy identified, we'll put that out and we'll ask people, do you know him? Do you know where he was in the last two days? And hopefully be able to piece that together. Now, we should be able to, or we should know a lot more rather, as soon as we get the reports from the medical examiner, both the autopsy on the man and the necropsy on the gator. And as far as getting a photo of that alligator, what I'm being told from Polk County Sheriff's Office officials is that if that necropsy determines that the gator had been eating or, or chewing on that body at all, then they're going to release photos of the alligator. If they open up that gator's belly and there are no pieces of the man's body in there, then we're not going to get a photo released of that alligator.